were in Cincinnati. Looking building over there. Turn right onto West Fourth Street. Ooh, there's a Taco Bell. What? What? Hey guys! Hi guys. So we have finally um, made it to Kentucky, as you know, and uh, we are at the Fazoli's. We're at Fazoli's, so we're about to go in and order something. Let's see. I don't know what I want yet. I love Fazoli's. That's his favorite spot. Favorite restaurant. Okay. Let me order. And I will get back with y'all. Alright, so we ordered. He ordered the built it yourself lasagna. I ordered lasagna. Mine has broccoli and mushrooms and spinach in mine. And there's something on my screen. And Josh. I have onions, spinach, and Italian sausage. Yeah. And we have the pizza. And I had a salad. And he had the salad. He already ate his. And I have breadsticks. So, yeah, I love this always. We don't get to go to it much because it's hard to get an 18. Sorry. It's hard to get an 18 wheeler down in to Fazoli's like unless it's in like a, a shopping plaza or something but it's pretty tough to get a uh, 18 wheeler to Fazoli's so we don't get to go to Fazoli's a whole lot so anyway that is what we are doing and then we're gonna let him drive the rest of the way like 16 hours <laughs> so anyway I'll talk to you later my phone's dying Nursing to our continuous all the way to BSN, and our clinical experience emphasis. Hit those rumble sticks or the rumble, the rumble, trunk bumps over there. You see those, those things? He hit, uh, he hit those, and I about lost it. But there's a story behind that. He wrecked our 18 wheeler with me sleeping in it and hit the barrier and the steel barriers. Not, not the one like that, but. The ones, the ones that stick up like every so many feet. He took out a hundred yards. Three hundred yards. Three hundred yards of it totaled our eighteen wheeler, and I'm supposed to trust his driving. I get freaked out, and every time he hits those uh, rumble sticks or rumble strips, not sticks, <laughs> rumble sticks, rumble strips, I. I literally like freak out. Cardinals. There's the Cardinals. But it went my fault, man. And now, uh, he was trying to pass an 18 wheeler when it was raining. And it was early, early one morning, uh, 4:30. like 4.30 in the morning, and we were um, heading towards, we were just above Nashville, Tennessee, and we were coming, we were going south, and I was sleeping, he was driving, he was talking to his dad on the phone, 
and he went um, past a, an 18 wheeler going really really slow and that 18 wheeler came over on him and the 18 wheeler took off after that so that's what had happened and so yeah um but anyway, anytime he hits the rumble strips, I, like, literally freak out. Because it just brings me back to that moment, I guess. I don't mean to hit them, though. Like, those rumble strips. Right the there. Those. On somebody. Oh, there's the airplanes and the airplane guys. different for me to record going down the road. <laughs> I don't know so. how to act. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a break. It feels so good. I got even my leg propped up. <laughs> All right. I will talk to y'all later. That was Louisville, Kentucky, guys. Y'all didn't know. Okay. What, what? Look at that. Oh, another state down. Uh, we're getting closer, babe. What do you I think? <laughs> we're getting closer. Hey, hey, hey. Look, we're at a we're at a rest area. We're about to stretch. We've been Anywhere I've been riding. He's been driving. So. Anyway. We're gonna get out and stretch and In 1, feet, then I might drive a little I bit. Alright. Hey guys, so quick update. We are in Memphis, Tennessee. We're about to cross into Arkansas. And Josh is driving. I drove about 100 miles or whatever, but I got tired of driving. I drove 200 miles to take the, the truck to uh, the terminal in Springfield, Ohio. So I was already exhausted. So he's doing most of the driving. But yeah, so anyway, um, it's pretty nasty. I just got a flash flood warning on my phone. And I don't know if you can see it. Look how nasty that is. Anyway. We're about to stop and get us some supper. I don't know. Um, it's like 8.30. So. Yeah, I'm about to um, stop and get something to eat. I'm getting hungry. But... Yeah, so we only have like 650 miles. Not a big deal. I can do that in one day. So. It's different though, you know? You're driving an 18 wheeler is more like a job, you know? And you know that you have to drive the 650 miles. And you know that you have to get it there at a certain time. But driving your personal vehicle, it's different because you know you can stop. And if... if I, I mean, yes, you could stop driving the 18-wheeler, but it's, it's like, different because you, you know that you can stop anytime you want and your, your time isn't running down. Sorry. <laughs> Bumps. But anyway, so it, it's different, and we've only stopped, what, three times? Once to fuel. Oh, well, we've stopped three times to fuel. Three times to fuel, and then once to eat, we ate, well, you know. Anyway, so, I'm trying to wait, and we cross over the Arkansas line, I could show you, but, I mean, I don't see. In a half mile, keep right to continue on I-40, follow signs for little rock. As the GPS, <laughs> and it keeps talking. So anyway, yeah, so getting back to what I was saying, I um, put a credit application in for Verizon for um, Josh so we can go back to Verizon and they were wanting him to pay a $400 deposit or $150 if we bring our own phones. So now I'm on the lookout for two Verizon phones unlocked because I want to pay full price. Full price sucks. So, and... Well, I have a perfectly good phone right here. It's the Galaxy S7. It's through Straight Talk. And his is the J7. 
and they won't even uh, they won't accept that like they said that it's not compatible with their their uh their program or whatever but i thought that verizon owns straight talk so i don't know i just they do yeah that's what i thought so i don't know anyway be careful josh I don't care if it was the wind or if it was God or whatever. You gotta stay between the lines. Okay. So, that was our adventure for the last hour. Talking to Straight Talk. They made us do four credit applications because they said that I used my post office box. And that's what was proved. So, then they wanted us to fax them his driver's license um, and his voter registration card and a bank statement and then they're like well you do know you have to pay a $400 deposit because your credit's not very good I'm like mm, that's not what the guy said before so I don't care anyway $400 isn't a big deal you know but it is when you don't have it and right now we're on our home time and I just don't have $400 just to give it away. So, anyway, we are going to cross into. Are we? Eventually. We're wearing Memphis. We're wearing Memphis. Ooh, that just does not look good. I'll just show them back there. I don't know if you can see that. It's nasty. Anyway. I will talk to y'all later.